Hello. Hello booktube, my name is Kate, this is my channel Chapter Kate, and this is the Franken book challenge. <laughs> so this is a bonus challenge for the Monsterathon. If you complete the challenge between now and September 20th, you have the chance to win one of these three books. These books are all new releases sent to me by Angry Robot Books. So thank you Angry Robot Books for sending me these books to read and to give away. The first book is The Phlebotomist, so this is by Chris Panettiere. This book takes place in the near future where citizens are subjected to a mandatory blood draw. And this is following a cataclysmic war where they need the blood basically, so they have this harvest in place, which is the, the blood draw. I would have been noped out of there, like very start of that because I don't do needles. But basically they need to give the blood to people who have been infected by radiation. But you know, the world is corrupt and whatnot, so now we're all separated and segregated based on blood type. And also, the more blood you give, the more your gifts are rewarded by the government. I'm sure that doesn't go wrong. And the main character of this book, her name is Willa. Willa works as a reaper, which means that she collects the blood for the harvest and whatnot. Sounds real creepy, love it, here for it. And then she chances upon an idea to resurrect an obsolete technique. But she feels that this technique will somehow bring balance to the world and whatnot. However, when she's trying to enact this idea, she comes across some secrety secret that could change everything. And also it's terrifying and also it's awesome. So also look at this cover. Okay, I'm not, okay. I don't, I don't like pink. I really don't. However, this cover, look at this cover. Isn't it gorgeous? Like. Like, this is a really gorgeous cover. <laughs> the next book is Bystander 27, and this is by Rick Hoskin. I'm currently reading this one, actually. And if you like superhero books, then this will be right up your alley. So the main character of this book, his name is John Hayes, is an ex-Navy SEAL. And where he lives, superheroes, you know, the costumed folk are just part of everyday life. His whole thing is he just wants to stay out of it, he just wants to live his life, okay? However, sometimes the danger just comes to you. So his pregnant wife is actually killed during this epic battle between a really good guy and a really bad guy. So he's like struggling with like, oh, these are supposed to be part of everyday life and this is my wife that I loved and had a baby almost with. So basically he's stuck in a battle of, you know, dealing with his loss and kind of finding out more about where these Cape Crusaders came from. Say that three times fast. And then the third and final book that you can win is Captain Moxley and the Embers of the Empire by Dan Hanks. This book takes place in the post-war piece of 1952. The main character is an ex-Spitfire pilot captain named Samantha Moxley. I bet she's got Moxie. Basically, she's like, I should be done fighting bad guys. I am tired of this. But that's just not how life works. So instead, she finds herself dragged into this whole situation by this mysterious government agency called The Nine. And this happens because they take interest in Samantha Moxley's sister's work and her sister named Jess is an archaeologist. So Samantha is just trying to protect her sister while being chased by The Nine, also Nazis, also monsters. But basically she's traveling all over the world trying to protect her sister and also these two mystery keys that could unlock a bunch of secrets. I'll be giving away one of each of those books, so if you complete this challenge between now and September 20th, you can win a chance of getting one of those books. For this challenge, you're going to need someone to pick seven different books. You can do this by a random number generator, you can get someone to choose some on Twitter, you can use your books on your Goodreads shelves, you can just kind of list a bunch of books that you have. You can use your actual shelves. It's up to you. What I did is I told people to pick a number between 1 and 41 because I have 41 of these shelves minus my nonfiction and my comic books and my Star Wars shelves which are all over there. And I had them pick a number between 1 and 30 because I have around 30 books on most of the shelves. It's kind of the high end. If I have less than 30 books on a shelf and they choose a number that's higher than what's on that shelf, I just kind of start it over. But that's just a complicated way of saying I had people pick numbers for me and I wrote them all down. But you're going to need seven different books. So if anyone's ever read Frankenstein or seen a movie Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein's a total douchebag. He's a little <laughs> We're gonna be cooler than Frankenstein because we're gonna love our creation and treat it with kindness. But we're still gonna be doing a little mad science. So since this is the Franken book challenge, what you're going to be doing is creating one big book out of these seven. These are the giveaway books. They're not included in the, the, the seven. So first you need a head, which means you need a main character. So go ahead and choose who is going to be your main character. Go ahead and find your first book. So my first book is 1114. So it's the 11th shelf in the 14th book. Mine is Godzilla. So my main character is Godzilla, which is just great. That's just great. I'm very happy with it. Science. Then you're gonna need a body. So this is the plot of your book. So you're gonna need that second number. Horror store. So Godzilla is now locked in a haunted Ikea knockoff store. Science. 
Now you're going to need two arms. So that means you're going to need two different numbers. And this is how you're going to get your side characters. 13, 14, which is Space Unicorn Blue. So I'm going to choose Cowboy Jim as a side character. <laughs> I'm going to pick Cowboy Jim. He is a just a regular old cowboy in space with a bunch of weird characters. Cowboy Jim. 3-2, which is Aesop's Fables. I am trying to remember at least one of them. I think there's a lion and a mouse. So we're gonna go with a with a mouse. No, no, you know what? We're going with a lion. Okay, we're going with a lion. The other side character is a lion, okay? Science. Don't forget to waft. Then you have the legs. One leg is your motivation. So you're gonna need the next number. Mine's Hamlet. So the motivation is to steal the throne. If I if I understand Hamlet correctly. I haven't watched or read Hamlet, but I have seen Lion King. Your other leg is not only the motivation, but it's the bad guy. I got the Grim Grotto by Lemony Snicket. So <laughs> my bad guy is Count Olaf. Your book needs some clothes. So you need a cover. And my cover is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And that's just great because not only is the dust jacket gorgeous, but the, the book itself is also gorgeous. So here's my book synopsis. Godzilla is locked in a haunted Ikea knockoff store with his friends, Cowboy Jim, and an actual lion. His goal is to steal the throne before his goals are thwarted by Count Olaf. Isn't it beautiful? And that is all for this Franken book challenge. <laughs> Feel free to do it as many times as you would like. I just did it once to give you an example, but go forth. Reanimate bodies. I mean, create new books out of several other books. But that is all for this Franken book challenge. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll do your own. And don't forget, if you complete yours by September 20th, then you will have a chance to win one of three amazing books. The Phlebotomist, Captain Moxley, and the Embers of the Empire, or Bystander 27. You can complete this challenge with a video, with a Twitter thread, with a blog post, with an Instagram post, whatever you want to do. Just leave me a link to whatever it is in the description of this video so I know where to find it. And this is also your bonus challenge on the Monsterthon spreadsheet. So I hope you have fun and I hope that you'll do it. Can't wait to see it. But that's all. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye!